Here we are approaching the happy holiday of Sukkot, the time of our happiness, Zman Simchotenu. And we have the wonderful mitzvah of Sukkah. What is the significance of a Sukkah? We have a dispute in the Gemara, a difference of opinion. One opinion is it's remembrance of the clouds that the Jewish people were surrounded by in the desert. And one opinion is that was God made for the Jewish people little houses to live in the desert. So the question is, we understand the one who says it was a cloud, that was a miracle. So we do this to make remembrance of the great miracle that God did for us by surrounding us by clouds in the desert. But the other opinion that God made for us little houses to live in, what's the significance that we should keep the midst of sukkah? If we think about it, it's great significance we take it for granted, we live in a house, we take it for granted we have a family, our children, we enjoy living in the house, we have different rooms, we have place to eat, place to sleep, we come back after a hard day, we have a house to go into. Many people in the world don't have houses to live in. Many people live in straw houses where they sweat away in the summer, freeze in the winter, and uh, some people don't even have that much. If we go around the world and seeing the, 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 uh, how poor people are, even people that are of, of means, look at other people who lost their houses during the hurricane and the floods recently in Houston and Miami. Millions of people chased out of their home because of the weather conditions. So God's telling us, the Jews were in the, in, the, in the desert. I took care of them. I gave them housing. Don't take it for granted. The housing that you have, you're living in the city, I'm giving that to you. It can be easily taken away. People have fires, people have floods, people have can't pay their mortgage, they're thrown out of the house too. Many people are, 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 are displaced from the homes that they live in. Every time we walk into our house, we have to think, to thank Hashem, thank you for give, giving us this house to live in. I have a place for myself, for my family, a place to sleep, a place to eat, a place to relax. And this is something that we have to remember God did for us in the, in the desert. He does that for us every day in our lives every year. Have a happy holiday, everybody. A big aliyah a very uplifting holiday to serve Hashem and to rejoice for being Jewish.